negative ba? Mashi mashi. Hi guys, welcome back to another video of Medical Technology Society's Medtech TV YouTube channel. For today's vlog, I will be your resident vlogger. Vlogger. Vlogger for today. So, before I start this vlog, I would like to introduce myself. I am Aldis Lawrence de Bergeta, and I am currently a third year medical technology student here in FEU Manila. Kung makikita niyo ako sa school, guys, you can call me Aldus, you can call me Dus, you can call me Al. You can call me Kuya Aldus for some of our lower years. And, bahala ka na kung anong gusto mong sabihin. So for today's vlog, I think di lang naman ako yung makakarelate sa topic na to but also sa ating mga FEU MedTech cameras and sa lahat pa na makakapanood ng video na ito. Lahat naman tayo is going through a pandemic and one of the most used platforms na ginagamit natin ngayon is social media. I mean, doon na umiikot yung buhay ng tao ngayon since we really can't go outside due to quarantine. We do online classes using internet and social media, we do events and activities using social media, we hang out with friends using Zoom and other social media apps. Pinadali ng social media yung buhay natin ngayong quarantine. And because of that, napakadaling mag-share, napakadaling mag-post ng mga bagay. And some of those posts or articles might be good for some people and might be disturbing for some. Ako personally, there are things na nakikita ko sa social media na disturbing for me. Nakakalungkot and talaga mag-iisip ka ng mga bagay na hindi maganda. Some people ngayon are going through a lot of mental illness. For me, this is a good way of sharing how I cope up with the negative things around me. So, I'll be giving you guys 3 tips on how I cope up with the negative oh? <laughs> number one fact check that is the first thing I usually do every time na nakakakita ko ng articles ng mga post before ko siya i-share sa timeline ko sa social media lalo na ngayon na sobrang daming fake news na kumakalat I really need to be cautious kung aning i-share ko sa tao Lalo na na there are people na hindi pa marunong mag-check uh, if the article is true or not. There might be possibilities na maniwala agad sila. Lalo na na ang dami magagandang clickbaits na mga title ng article ngayon. Naalala ko dati I was scrolling sa Facebook and I saw this article na yung headline niya is sobrang captivating kasi about Taal Volcano siya. Tapos sinabi na sasabog daw siya ulit this pandemic. And of course, ako bilang taga Batangas, natakot kami. And nakita ko yung post na yun na sobrang daming shares. Nakumalat na siya. So, binasa ko siya and hindi naman pala siya totoo. Walang basis yung paggawa ng post na yun. Hindi naman siya sinabi ng Philvox. Yung ibang taong makakabasa nun na hindi marunong magtingin if totoo ba yung post or hindi, matatakot and kakabahan. So, we really need to be cautious kung ano yung mga sinishare natin sa Facebook para hindi rin maapektuhan yung ibang tao na makakakita ng posts na yun. Number two, educate and involve yourself. Ako personally, whenever I see news or article na hindi maganda, what I do is try to research and know the background of the topic. And then once na nakagain ako ng enough knowledge about that certain issue, I try to contribute using the available platforms na meron ako para makatulong. Recently, di ba, we've been through a devastating typhoon na talagang madaming Pilipino ang naapektuhan. And because of that, I tried to join donation drives, I tried to join uh, organizations that help those people. Alam mo yun, in simple things na pwede tayong makatulong to make that negative be a positive, do it, di ba? Another example na nakita ko sa social media recently is about this transgender woman na binabato ng matandang babae and sinasabihan siya na bading siya, bading siya. And nung nabasa ko yung article din and napanood ko yung video, it triggers me to be angry dahil ako bilang part of the LGBTQ plus community, 
hindi ko maintindihan why people would do that just because of their sexuality. And so, what I did is, I shared posts about that issue, I shared trivia posts about LGBTQ plus community, I shared posts about the Soji bill, I shared posts about the anti-discrimination bill, and tried to cite petition. Alam mo yun, in those simple ways na pwede akong makatulong to make that negative news be a positive. Gagawin ko din. This is not just for my own sanity, ha. This is also, you know, to contribute, to try to help, you know, to lessen yung mga nakakita nating negative news na nagsisirculate about social media. Number three. Lastly, try to tap your friends and family. Ako personally, that's what I do. Usually, kapag hindi ako okay or may nalaman ako ng hindi magandang news, kinakausap ko agad yung friends ko, kinakausap ko yung parents ko, tapos sinishare ko sa kanila kung ano yung nafe-feel ko. And minsan, kahit hindi ko man siya i-share, basta nakakausap ko lang sila. Alam mo yun, that is my way of escaping the reality na nakikita ko sa paligid ko. That is actually a break for me na kalimutan yung mga bagay na hindi maganda sa paligid ko. And sometimes kapag nakakausap ko sila, I try to be open with my thoughts. Sinishare ko sa kanila if hindi ako okay and stuff like that. And yun, natutulungan din naman nila ako. And ganun din ako sa kanila every time na nafe-feel ko na hindi sila okay. Nagme-message ako na, uy, kamusta ka? Uy, anong ginagawa mo? Minsan, tinatawagan ko pa sila. I do believe that no man is an island and sometimes we need other people too in order for us to be, you know, to be okay. And that's it! Yun guys yung mga ginagawa ko every time I see negative news around me, kung paano baka nagko-cope up sa situation na to to stay sane this pandemic. And uh, I hope na may natutunan kayo from me na pwede nyong i-apply sa life nyo. And of course, alam ko naman na iba't iba tayo ng coping mechanism. So please, if you want to share to us your coping mechanism or how you deal with this negative news, feel free to comment down below and share to us your experiences. So before I end this vlog, I want to thank FEU Medical Technology Society for having me as your resident vlogger for MedTech TV. Also, please don't forget to follow and like FEU Medical Technology Society's social media page. And you can also follow me on my Instagram account, AldsBRGT. And pwede niya rin akong i-add sa Facebook, Aldis Lawrence Bergeta. Guys, wala pala akong Twitter, okay? Once again, I'm Aldis Lawrence T. Bergeta, signing off. Moshi, moshi.